。在这个全星璀璨的时代，重量级拳坛可谓是风云涌动。现世界拳击第一人约书亚称霸拳坛，亚洲重量级第一人张君龙摩拳霍霍，日本重量级拳王藤本京太郎也意欲挑战张君龙、董泰山、张志磊，制霸亚洲赛场。如此众多的重量级选手，不禁让人想起曾经威震美国的 2.13 米的拳坛姚明董建军。董泰山，原名董建军， 1 9 8 5年出生于甘肃陇南市西河县卢河乡董河村。因为拥有着两米一三身高，在国内打过篮球，练过摔跤和柔道。经过一段时间的训练，董建军觉得柔道不适合自己，还是放弃了。再后来加入了山东队练习散打。二零一二年，他选择退役。后来，董泰山被国内搏击品牌英雄传说发掘，主攻站立格斗。随后，他又被金童霍亚的公司发现，从而开始赴美，开启了他的拳击生涯。二零一三年二月二十三日。在日本东京巨蛋竞技场的 Gino 二十四比赛中，泰山首次出场日本赛场，他的对手是美国怪兽鲍勃萨普。结果泰山凭借强大的实力，急速 KO 对手。时间来到二零一五年五月，这是一场四回合重量级拳王争霸赛，他此次对战的是三百斤的美国悍将兰斯高奇。兰斯高奇在此时已经征战拳坛七年，凭借丰富的擂台经验。在拳击擂台混得风生水起，有不少实力强悍的美国拳手败在兰斯高奇手下。By way of knockout. Out of Beijing, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Great Wall from China, Tai Shan. The man in charge of the action, Mr. Ray Corona. Good. So it's good right here. All right, it's good right here. Listen to my commands. Touch gloves. God bless. We'll be joined later by Jessica Rosales. Thank you for getting your Memorial Day weekend going with us. 比赛开始，董建军凭借着自己的身高臂长的优势，重拳轰向对手。兰斯高奇利用搂抱的方式贴近内围，重拳砸向建军。建军机智的跟对手拉开距离，尽可能的发挥出自己先天的优势。两人不断的重拳轰出，可谓是打得有来有回。Early in the fight, yeah, he was nailed with big overhand rights in the opening round of his last fight, and I think he was rocked by one of them. It took him about maybe towards the end of the second round, maybe at the mid midway through the third round, for him to really find his rhythm, get his jab going, and, and finally impose that impressive physique on his、uh, journeyman opponent. He's facing another journeyman, a part-time fighter, as you noted. Um, but Gouch is not a guy who lacks for any confidence, and I've actually seen some of his fights before. He has, you know, despite that roly-poly midsection. 别看兰斯高奇的身材肥胖，实际上相当灵活。不禁让我想起了曾经 KO 世界级拳王约书亚的小鲁伊兹，同样是那么肥胖的身材，却没想到体内拥有如此强大的力量。Tom Slash Golden Boy live to score the fights, get some real-time fantasy scores. We'll show your scores during the fights. Gouch, a real likable, kind of affable personality, in this morning's fighter meeting, said he was not impressed with、uh, the giant. Didn't like his technique, and he said he was slow. Let's see if he can take、uh, take advantage of some of those defensive holes that、uh, he says he saw by looking at、uh, some of Tyshawn's previous pro bouts. Gouch, Gouch is a wrestling coach at Hannibal Lagrange University. Played college football at Culver Stockton in that area. He's just a small town kid. Didn't really care much for California. <laughs> <laughs> Or Las Vegas. Or Las Vegas. <laughs> He did fight Deontay. Stop. Take、uh, a step back, both of you. Dominic Brazil, the Olympian heavyweight, fought him a couple years ago. But as we mentioned, he's a part-time fighter where he coaches wrestling, and then in the summers he comes out and just fights local fights and club fighting. And he's coming off some inactivity. He actually broke his leg in a semi semi-pro football. Yeah, he's all over the place. <laughs> yeah, football game. So he he sat out about a year. Yeah. Tyshawn mentioned it, working with Buddy McGirt. Understand, explain. It's a project. 但咱们的董建军也不差。比赛的节点就发生在最后三十秒，在兰斯高级前四拳掷弹的时候
，董建军精准的后手重拳砸在对手面部，蓝丝高旗应声倒地，表情抽搐的倒在地上动弹不得。现场医护人员急忙上前治疗，用护具固定脖子，担架抬下台。在赛后才知道，由于董建军出拳的力道太猛，将对手的脖子都打断了。尽管泰山现在已经淡出拳坛，但是他创造的拳坛奇迹，在中国职业拳击发展过程中应该被记住，值得称道。Partially on the ear, partially around the temple area, right around that temple area, and instantly, and he landed. 好了，今天的视频就到这儿了。如果屏幕前的你对本场比赛有什么看法的话，欢迎来到评论区留言。觉得董建军打得漂亮的话，记得点赞关注哦。咱们下期再见。India, the time: two minutes, thirty-two seconds into round number one, for the winner by knockout and still undefeated, the Great Wall from China, Tai.